Hi, Daily. Hi, Miles. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Grammy. Hi, Papa. Hi, Troy. <laughs> Hi, Allison. I can't think of anybody else. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, maybe Aunt Penny needs to lie down and take a nap. What do you think? I think I'll read you a story instead. I'm going to read you another one from the Frog and Toad Treasury. Remember, it's a really big book, so I'm only going to read one story at a time. Today's story is the story. Sorry, it always takes me a second to get arranged here. There we go. One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Toad said, Frog, you're looking quite green. But I always look green, said Frog. I'm a frog. Today you look very green even for a frog, said Toad. Get into my bed and rest. There you see. Toad made Frog a cup of tea. Frog drank the tea, and then he said, Tell me a story while I am resting. All right, said Toad. Let me think of a story to tell you. Toad thought and thought. You see him sitting there, thinking really hard? But he could not think of a story to tell Frog. I will go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me to think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the porch for a long time. But he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad went into the house and stood on his head. <laughs> Look at him there. Why are you standing on your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. See, there's Frog in bed. There's Toad standing on his head. Toad stood on his head for a long time. But he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad poured a glass of water over his head. Why are you pouring water over your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. What a silly Toad. Then Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Ooh, that doesn't look like it's a very good idea. Why are you banging your head against the wall? asked Frog. I hope that if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it will help me to think of a story. <laughs> I think he hurt himself. What do you think? I am feeling much better now, Toad, said Frog. I do not think that I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it, said Toad, because now I feel terrible. Frog said, would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Yes, said Toad, if you know one. Once upon a time, said Frog, here's Toad and Betty, see. Once upon a time, there were two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend, the toad, to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down on the porch, but he could not think of a story. He stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He banged his head against the wall, but he still could not think of a story. Then the toad did not feel well, and the frog was feeling better. So the toad went to bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end. How was that, toad? said frog. A toad did not answer. He'd fallen asleep. I hope you enjoyed Frog and Toad, and I'll see you next time.